look forward to that to the review video I'll be putting out uh, a review video of this of these AirPods Pro so look forward to that so look forward to that Hey guys, welcome back to another video and a very happy Chinese New Year to all of you. Even though by the time this video comes out, it might no longer be Chinese New Year. Bark. Anyways, I hope you're having or have had, most likely have had, uh, a great Chinese New Year. But today, we're gonna talk about these bad boys. The Apple... AirPods Pro. No, they're actually not that godlike and they don't have that effect when you open or close the lid. Nothing happens. But I've owned these things for over six months now. And today I'm gonna tell you why they are the best earphones for Apple users. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, the biggest reason I switched to these earphones is compatibility. And I'm not talking about Apple stuff works best with Apple stuff because everybody knows that. I'm talking about working, being able to use something on a day-to-day -day basis. Before these earphones, I own a pair of Bluetooth earbuds and they don't work. And by don't work, I mean they sound super loud way too loud for the average human being to listen to or should i say listen to healthily listen to at safe levels at one percent volume they sound something like 50 60 i don't know just volumes that the normal human being can't bear but with these guys there there's absolutely no problem with them uh, whatsoever re regarding the volume levels so when choosing between using a pair of bluetooth earbuds that are way cheaper but also quickens my hearing loss by about 50 years and using a pair of earphones that are actually compatible with my with my phone, my watch, my laptop, all my all of the devices that 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 I own and that allows me to listen to audio at safe levels. It's pretty reasonable that I go with these guys instead of those that I already put somewhere else. Actually, I threw them away, but you don't need to know that. And so that's number one, compatibility. The second reason the AirPods Pro are the best earphones for Apple users is noise cancellation. And wait, before all of you audiophiles come out and say, no, the Sonys are better, the Bose are better, the AirPods Max is better. I know, I know. Just give me a sec, okay? I personally tested out a couple of earbuds and headphones. And of course, I can't go out there and just buy all the earbuds and headphones out there because I don't have the cash to splash. But, you know, I, I can only do what I can do, which is to show you the earphones or headphones that I can get my hands on from my family members or friends. So these are the few earbuds and headphones I got here. First up, the Apple AirPods 2, and then we've got the Beat Studio 3 Wireless. And last but not least, these are pretty popular right now, even though the AirPods Max just came out. These are the Sony WH-1000XM4s. Yes, I got the name right. And after using all of these, in terms of noise cancellation, of course, um, these guys, let's just forget about them because there's no noise cancellation whatsoever surprisingly these in my opinion are better than the beats which are headphones and a lot of people think that headphones are supposed presumably have better noise cancellation than earbuds but in my in my use case after my testing that's not true these actually come out on top in terms of noise cancellation, they cancel out more noise. But still, you probably guessed it, the Sonys come out on top when it comes to noise cancellation, they just cancel out more noise, whether it's the, the pure noise isolation when you put these on without even turning these headphones on, that 
plus the noise cancellation built in, it just, the combination of both just cancels out more noise than these tiny earbuds here. And I've even tried out the little brothers of these, of the Sonys. That is the Sony WH-1000XM3s, uh, the earbuds version of these headphones. I've tried it out once when my friend uh, gladly borrowed them to me to listen for only like 10 seconds or a minute. But then that was in like real testing. So I couldn't really tell, I couldn't really tell you like whether those or these are better at noise cancellation. But out of these few, these are the best. The Sony's are the best. Then the AirPods Pro, then the Beats, and lastly the AirPods 2. But these in terms of noise cancellation are good enough for me. And what makes these the best earphones for Apple users are a combination of factors and elements. So that brings us to the next point, which is comfort. Now, comfort is something that's really subjective. One pair of earphones that, that's really comfortable for one person may not be for another user. But out of the few headphones and earbuds I just talked about, which are these guys, I think that earbuds, for me in general, are more comfortable than headphones. Earbuds just come out on top in terms of comfort. For me, headphones just make my ears hot and sweaty very quickly. So in terms of comfort, I just can't go with headphones. There's a saying that no matter how good a pair of headphones are, if you can't wear them, they are not good headphones. So for me, these guys, not an option. And now it comes down to these two, the fight between the AirPods brothers. And honestly, I have to give the win to the AirPods 2 here, simply because of their design. The AirPods 2 are designed to literally hang on the edge of your ear. They're designed like that so they don't protrude into your ear canal. But these AirPods Pros, um, although they have the air vent here that releases some of the air pressure so that they don't you don't feel as much protrusion as you do with other in-ear ear, earbuds, they're still, at the end of the day, they're still in-ear earbuds. And that's why after the same amount of time, after wearing them for the same amount of time, you will feel more stress and discomfort and pressure with the pros, but less so with the normal AirPods, the AirPods 2. So in terms of comfort, AirPods to win, but then you have to take into account that for me, they fall out during my workouts. And if you don't know workouts, what workouts I do, you should go check out the rest of the channel where I show plenty of workouts I do. And in those workouts, the pros stay in way better for me. These, as soon as I jump, they fly out of my ears and just, you know, they don't work. So. Even though these are more comfortable, I go with these because they don't fall out and they are comfortable enough compared with the headphones and with this one and the rest of the other in-ear earbuds. So for comfort, I'm still going with this despite these are more comfortable. Finally, let's talk about convenience. And if your earphones aren't convenient enough for you to use them on a day-to-day -day basis, you wouldn't want to use them and they aren't good earphones or headphones. Say you use wired earphones or headphones and every time you pull them out of your pocket or your back, you have to untangle the thousands of knots here and there. You just don't want to use them. But with these, the AirPods Pro, convenience is a huge win factor for them. The case of the AirPods Pro should fit into most pockets. And even though it's slightly larger in size than its sibling, the AirPods 2, as you can see when you pack them together, there's only a slight difference. So if the AirPods 2 fit into your bag slash pocket slash whatever you put this in, then these should fit as well. And I know some people are going to say, you know, 
I just prefer headphones, hanging hanging headphones around my neck so I look like this DJ dude and or whatever. But then if I have to choose between putting these in my pocket or going around the streets with these, I'd go with these every day of the week. Knowing I could bring these along with me to almost wherever I go is a huge win for me because I consume a lot of audiobooks and podcasts and without the AirPods Pro, there probably would have been too much friction for me to access those things and I probably wouldn't, ha wouldn't have listened to all those audiobooks and podcasts on my train rides to school or whatever commuting journey uh, I've been on. So despite its heavy price tag for the convenience, I think it's worth it. And the last point I'd like to add is of course being a product in the Apple ecosystem. I mean, when have you ever not heard of the word ecosystem in an Apple video? You've probably heard of it like 11 times in 10 Apple videos because the guy or the girl in the video probably mentions the word ecosystem twice in like one video. So that just goes to show how much of a benefit it is to be a product in the Apple ecosystem. It means seamless switching between devices. You can go from pairing, having these paired with your phones using them. And then when you use your Mac, it automatically switches to pairing with your, being paired with your Mac. So, you know, that's just the, the major convenience of being in the ecosystem. And the, ma the one major caveat is that this does not work uh, like this doesn't always work. Th it means that what, what I mean is that there will be times when this fails. Like th there are times that this hasn't worked for me and I have to just go the Bluetooth bar, the, con the, 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 the control center and the Mac in Mac OS and then to just manually pair these like the, the old fashioned way, you, you get it. But that's just the way it is. Other than the t other than the times when it when it when it has failed me, it's pretty goddamn good. So that's it. Convenience. To conclude, the AirPods Pro, in my opinion, are the best earphones for Apple users. And some of you might have noticed that I haven't talked about anything about sound quality. And that's because I'm not an audiophile and I don't want to make unfair comparisons, but I know these aren't the best sounding earphones, but for, for like a non audiophile like me, uh, like myself, I don't, I don't really care about the sound quality as, as long as it doesn't sound trash, even though that is, even though de the definition of trash is probably very subjective as well. A lot of things are subjective, but all I do is listen and listen to some music and audiobooks, podcasts, and I don't really care about like top notch sound quality. So that's why I didn't talk about it in this video. So the bottom line is if you're a non audiophile like me and you care about convenience so that you could become a more knowledgeable person through audiobooks and podcasts, and you don't want to lose your hearing by the age of 20, and through using these guys, the AirPods 2, then the AirPods Pro are the best choice for you. And that's why they, for me, are the best earphones for Apple users, even better than the AirPods Max because they're hella big and they look like a bra. So that's it for this video. I will be making, I'll probably be making more videos, separate videos, for all the other headphones and earphones I mentioned in this video. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button to let me know. Subscribe if you want more. And until my next video, I will see you guys later.